hi guys welcome to a new video today's video is going to be a baking video and it will be divided in two parts so the first part will mainly focus on vanilla almond cake so this video is vanilla almond cake and the upcoming next video is going to be a classic choco chip cupcake so without wasting any time let's get into the whole preparation So you know the drill here for the eggless cake recipe I am going to first start off with yogurt to which I am going to add caster sugar which will be equal parts to the flour that I am going to add. This bowl will only contain our wet ingredients and the dry ingredients I will be preparing separately. We keep whisking until they are well combined. this mixture I am going to add butter vanilla essence it's the best kind of essence for your vanilla cake we add now a half a cup of oil Oil is a stubborn ingredient so we keep whisking until all of the earlier ingredients are well incorporated with the oil and they are well blended. Now we add a cup of milk. We add milk in portions and keep whisking. We don't add at once the milk, we just keep adding portions. We do this in portions so that we can see the consistency of the whole wet ingredients improve or change. In a separate bowl we are going to prepare our dry ingredients so first up we have baking flour which, we, which will be sifting so we sift the flour for you know avoiding bubbles while we add the dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. I eyeball the flour quantity here because I do not exactly know what quantity I need I just eyeball the flour I just need the flour once it is added to the wet ingredients I get a thick paste out of it to this I'll be adding two baking agents one is baking soda and baking powder each I'll be adding one teaspoon 
and once we are done adding those ingredients we are going to whisk the dry ingredients so that all the dry ingredients are well combined and well incorporated We have got our wet ingredient here and we are going to add 2 tablespoons of the flour mix each time we fold. So first step we add the 2 tablespoons of flour then we fold. You know the 8 shape pattern of folding that's what we are going to follow here too. That's the best way of mixing your wet and dry ingredients. So our cake batter is already ready and now we are going to add roasted almond shavings into the batter. Save some roasted almonds for our final touch up or the garnishing of our cake. We have 3 baking pans ready to bake but before that I'll be covering each pan with aluminium foil because I want to maintain that white color I don't want that crusty brown color on the top layer surface. Baking time is 180 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Once the cake is done baking, we are going to let it set to cool and once it has cooled off, we are going to remove the cake carefully.
Now we are going to prepare the cake frosting. Here we got whipping cream. To the whipping cream, we are going to add white chocolate. Now you know the drill of the white chocolate. We'll be melting that in a double boiler method. Once it's melted, we add it to the whipping cream. And we keep whisking with the electric hand mixer until it is all fluffed up and it has got stiff peaks. Time to cover the cake with the cake frosting but each layer will be soaked up with sugar syrup but my sugar syrup has got a little tanginess because I have added lemon, lemon juice to it so that I'll be soaking each layer of my cake with this syrup and then I'll be layering it up with the cake frosting. Now my cake frosting is unprofessional. I just roughly cover the cake with the cake frosting. That's how we do. I'm not a professional. I'm just baking the cake because we are going to have guests in my house. And once we are done covering the cake with the cake frosting, I will finally add the garnishing that is the roasted almonds to the top and find bits and pieces here and there around the cake.
This is the final outlook of the cake and I think I did a pretty good job so I don't know about professionals but this feels really professional to me. Okay so this is what the inside of the cake looks like. Very unprofessionally cut but this is the cake. It's a home baked cake. I'm not a baker but I bake cakes only for pastry. We had guests so I baked the cake. And believe me. I'm not complimenting myself, but the cake is delicious. People have complimented for my cake. Oh. From. Stay tuned for the video. My next video will be uploaded soon. You know what the next video is all about. Until then, bye.